All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're doing a date night special. We're gonna cook pan-fried groper with fennel seed courgettes and garlic spinach. Guys, this is clean, simple, utterly delicious, and my missus loves it. So come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's get a frying pan on a nice medium gentle heat. Now I've got two courgettes or zucchini. We're gonna to top and tail them split them in half and then cut them on the angle. Now we need a good glug of olive oil to go in there and guys don't worry about the amount of olive oil that's going in the pan. We're actually going to use that as a dressing to drizzle around the plate and drizzle over the, uh, over the fish because we're going to infuse that lovely flavour of fennel seeds in there. So trust me, don't worry about how much oil is going in. Let's add a good pinch of fennel seeds. We want to move them around and just let them release that beautiful aroma into the oil. Okay, let's get the courgettes in there. We need some salt, pepper. Let's give them a good move around or give them a quick toss. Now we're gonna make sure that everything is kind of in contact with the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna cook these for about five minutes or so, just moving them every now and again until they've softened up and they've got some lovely caramelization on them. Okay, they look great. So let's get them onto a serving plate and make sure we drizzle all that oil over them as well. Okay, so here's our groper. And guys, if you're not familiar with groper, it's a really delicious fish. It's got lovely, thick, meaty texture to it and it flakes off into lovely big chunks. Um, and guys, I mean, this is why it's a little bit of a date night because it's, uh, it can be a little bit expensive, but it's definitely, definitely a treat. And uh, these groper, I'm not sure if you've ever seen them on YouTube or Facebook, but they, are, they can grow really huge. I mean, I saw one video and I'll find it and stick a link uh, below but you know this guy's got a shark on the end of his fishing line and this huge like four foot groper just comes up and chop swallows the entire fish whole I mean absolutely monster monster looking fishes but anyway we're getting a little bit carried away here so anyway we've got some pin bones uh, on here now if you haven't got any fish tweezers go and get your missus's tweezers clearly give them a good wash um, now these ones are my own personal tweezers for, uh, for plucking my knuckles. Um, but what we want to do is just kind of like hold the fish just a little bit firm and then really kind of, you know, get a good grip on the, on the pin bone. Try not to grab any flesh and then just pull that out. And then you can see it's quite a big thick pin bone. So these ones are nice and easy uh, to get hold of. Now, this end is a little bit flatter than this end, so we're just gonna cut that in half here. And then, I, to be honest, I, I'd probably get about two portions out of this, so let's cut that in half as well. Okay, let's grab some flour. And you know, some people like to season the flour with salt and pepper. I personally don't like doing that because you kind of, it's kind of hit or miss whether you get any seasoning on the fish. So. All we're gonna do is give that a light dusting and I'm gonna season the fish in the pan. Okay, that pan's really nice and hot. In fact, it's actually a little too hot. So let's get that off. We'll let that cool down a little bit. Okay, let's add a good splash of olive oil and let's get the fish in. Now let's add some salt and pepper. And to help that fish get lovely golden and brown, we want to add a few knobs of butter as well. Now this is only going to take about five minutes to cook. In fact, that flatter piece is going to cook a little bit quicker. Um, but it, you know, treat it like a steak, you know, give it a prod with your fingers just to see how firm that's coming along. And if you can, get the spoon and just baste it with that lovely foaming butter as well. Okay, that looks great. So let's get that onto a plate so it can rest for a couple of minutes. I'm also gonna squeeze over some lemon juice as well. 
Now I've got the pan back on a nice medium gentle heat and it's still got all that oil and butter in there as well. Now I need about four or five cloves of garlic, which we're just gonna crush with the back of the knife and just remove the skin. Let's get them in and give that a good move around and try and pick up any of those lovely bits of fish which have kind of like caramelized on the bottom of the pan there. Now we've got a large bunch of spinach here. Let's rip off the stalks, get them in, and we're gonna stir fry them. Now let's add in the leaves as well. And we're just gonna take about two or three minutes just to move them around the pan. They're gonna wilt down and they're gonna pick up all that lovely garlicky, buttery, fishy, crusty bits of oil and butter in there. And that's gonna soak it all up. And that, guys, is gonna be delicious, delicious spinach. Okay, that looks great, so let's plate up. Here we go guys, look at this. Oh my word, I can't wait to try it. Mm. Oh my word, that's so good. It's got such a lovely kind of meaty texture to it. Come on, let's have a little bit more. And I'm gonna grab one of these courgettes, or zucchini. Guys, that is the perfect way to serve fish. You know, it's just cooked really simply. The garnishes are simple and really clean. You know, their flavors just come through really cleanly. I mean, the, the courgettes with the fennel seeds, knockout, absolute knockout. And guys, if you can't find groper, you can fear not, my friends. Go and get some halibut or some turbot, you know, or, or even you could do this with some sea bass as well. Any kind of lovely, thick, meaty fish um, it's going to go well. It's going to work with the, the kind of robust flavors of the fennel seeds and the garlic spinach. <laughs> Enough talking. I am going to thoroughly enjoy this. Give us a thumbs up. Get in the comments. Love hearing from you. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, hang on, mate. If you enjoyed this video, I've got three options for you. Check out the Kitchen Daddy website over here. Subscribe to our YouTube channel right here and then check out another Kitchen Daddy video right by here. But why not be a legend and do all three?